Hello everyone, this is Nai Victor One Hotel Yankee from Singapore. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, so I just came back from Beijing, China to Singapore and uh, my school holiday still has uh, two weeks left. So during these two weeks, I have a chance to uh, operate HF radio and also to prepare more about my Q100 station. Uh, so today is another update video of my Q100 preparation. Uh, so uh, while I was in China, I received an amplifier and a patch antenna from BG0AUB. And uh, so today the main topic will be on the amplifier. But for the patch antenna, I am planning to uh, mount the patch antenna together with my LNB to, find, to form a dual feed antenna. However, during this uh, week, because it's Christmas and New Year, so a lot of university staff uh, has chosen to have a one-week holiday. Uh, I cannot find any lab to uh, do this work. So I will probably do this after New Year. Uh, so we'll, uh, it will be next year. Uh, okay, but for that, uh, I'm not too worried. And also my dish antenna, I, it has been shipped out from the dealer. Uh, it will uh, come by sea, so I'm not sure how long it will take. Uh, roughly two weeks. I will give you an update while that is, uh, has been shipped, has been shipped. And, uh, today's main topic will be on this amplifier. This amplifier designed by BG0AUB, Bravo Golf Zero Alpha Uniform Bravo. So, uh, he is a ham from Xinjiang province, China. And, uh, yeah, he has been, uh, working uh, on like microwave project and also Q100 equipment. So he is also quite active on Q100. I think um, most people operate on Q100. That if you uh, if you think about a China station, you will probably uh, think of AUB in the first place. So uh, yeah, he is really supportive of my uh, project and also uh, give me this uh, amplifier that he designed on his own and. Uh, give it to me for free. Uh, thank him for his support. So last time I made a video about this amplifier, I shown you the outlook and all these connectors, power, and uh, about my prediction of what's inside. So today we will open up this box and see what's really inside. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, uh, I have opened up all these four screws and uh, we are ready to see what's inside. I'm very excited to see uh, this amplifier. And uh, before I record this video, I actually uh, talked with uh, BG0AUB and he gave me a rough idea of what's inside and also showed me some pictures, just show me some of his idea. So we roughly, I roughly know like uh, what is going to, what I'm going to see inside. But yeah, still very excited. So let's open it up. Okay, there are some uh, wires, cables that connect uh, the the cover and also the main box. So I'm going to open from the other side. Yeah, from the other side, this is much easier. So uh, in my last video, I shown you the outer look of this amplifier, and I predicted that inside will have three part voltage regulator that convert twelve that convert twenty four volt. DC to 12 volt DC and also a bias T for my receiving LMB. Lastly is the amplifier. But in fact, here we have four parts because the amplifier actually these are like two stage amplifier. So from here, from here, the, this is the SDR transmitting transmit port. So from SDR, the signal transmit to this port and go inside, go through this, uh, blue coaxial cable then come here this is a 13 cm 30 db amplifier so uh, 13 cm means 2.4 gigahertz band and 30 db this is the gain of this stage so actually you can see from here the signal enters from this end and leave from the other end so from this blue cable goes into this metal box this metal box actually reads gain 10 db and uh, 10 watt power amplifier uh, designed by BG0AUB. So, yeah, 
this is a this is a second stage amplifier. The gain here reads 10 dB. So combine these two amplifier, actually, uh, it reads 40 dB. My input is uh, minus 5 dBm, minus 5 dBm. But somehow the outer gain can reach 45 dB. So the output is 40 dBm. Uh, BG0AUB actually says uh, it can reach up to 43 dBm. So it's uh, between 40 to 43 dBm. Uh, how to achieve this, I'm not very sure, but, uh, from the read, from the, actually just from this reading, we can see that 30 plus 10 is 40 dB, which is a pretty amazing gain for, uh, this 2.4 gigahertz amplifier. Uh, so, uh, from, uh, yeah, from the receiving, so from, uh, sorry, from this second stage amplifier, the signal output actually from go to here, this N connector. From here, I will connect this via a coax cable to my uh, patch antenna. So for receiving, this uh, is the LNB port for my receiving for my receiver. And inside this one, this board here is the bias T that provides 12 volt DC voltage to my LNB. And uh, down here, uh, down here, yeah, this. Down here, this black device is the voltage regulator from 12, from 24 volt to 12 volt. So, uh, 24 volt is, uh, from coming from here, from outside and, uh, goes in from here, this hole. And, uh, 24 volt actually is going to the second stage of the amplifier and 12 volt goes to the first stage of amplifier and also as well as the bias T. So this is a combination of amplifier and bias T. I don't, I don't need the extra bias T board in my uh, actual operation. So this is uh, really nice. This can save a number of devices and number of cable needed. So my setup can be much, much easier. And also you may notice that here there is a very obvious hole here and uh, from outside is taped. So the other side as well, the other side also there is a hole here. So, uh, I was wondering, like, why there are holes before I even open it up. Because I touch here, I know there is a hole and both sides taped. So I asked BG0AUB and uh, he answered, like, uh, this hole is actually for my patch antenna and LNB. So his initial idea was to have, because we already have amplifier and bias T here. So if from here I will use coaxial cable to, uh, my, uh, antenna, we will have a long distance and also we will have some cable loss. So his idea is to uh, mount the LNB here and also the patch antenna on this side, on this end, so that we do not need extra coaxial cable from the bias T direct to the uh, LNB and from the amplifier directly to the patch antenna. This will save distance and uh, the only thing we need to mount is to mount this box together with both antenna onto my dish. So yeah, in this way we can further save more, uh, we can save more, uh, space and also we can, uh, make the setup much, much more easier. However, in his actual design, uh, the space may not be enough and also it, so it's not very practical to, uh, mount everything together. So the, Final product is on, is a box and uh, with a uh, two hole here. But I don't, I don't mind this two hole and I think it is a very nice idea. And also he, I consider him a very good engineer because, uh, th because during the manufacturing of this amplifier, actually he come up with like this new idea of mounting, mounting stuff inside and make everything, uh, like less loss and also, uh, easier to set up. So this is a very, like very good practice, uh, for engineer. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, I think this, uh, very good and thank him again for like this amazing amplifier. He also made a few, uh, other models of amplifier. Some of them he is using them right now and some of them he is ready to uh, give them to other ham who is interested in QO100 operation. Yeah, so uh, this is my look of inside this amplifier and uh, in my future videos I will probably give another video when I 
mount the two antenna together and uh, or the dish arrives. Right now, I have only two concerns. Why it, one is to uh, mount the uh, mount the two antenna together uh, after New Year holiday, and uh, secondly is to do more reception uh, experiment at different location because uh, some of the location may not be ideal and uh, may potentially be blocked by buildings or trees because my. The elevation from here is really low, so I must must do all this experiment to test uh, all these locations. Right now, I have on, I have a few locations that can work, a few locations that cannot receive anything. So I will continue to do this kind of experiment until the dish arrives. Until then, I will uh, maybe up update you guys on. Uh, I have update on Facebook or Twitter. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for uh, watching this video and also followed me with my Q100 ground station preparation. So, yeah, this is Nine Victor One Hotel Yankee. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, 73, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.